Well, we're having some microphone issues there. We'll get those squared away. Not sure what's going on, but we will get them solved. Let's talk lifeguards at Presque Isle, shall we? Yes, John mentioned we're going to have some 80s in that seven-day forecast. Will it be for Memorial Day weekend? Well, I don't know if we're looking that far ahead just now, but, you know, the number of beaches to open will depend on the number of lifeguards this upcoming Memorial Day weekend at Presque Isle. Right now, uh, there's 23 that are still needed. 27 have been hired, and we talked with the Lake Erie lifeguard manager today, Bob North, and he says while swimming speed, knowledge of CPR is something that he wants lifeguards to have, you do not have to be an expert swimmer. You just have to be above average. Yeah, well, some of us aren't. Some of us have tried that training. The goal is get everything open again for Memorial Day weekend. Starting pay, seventeen seventy an hour. It's a really lucrative job. Encourage anyone who thinks they may be qualified to find out more. Again, it can be a full or part-time position. The number to call, uh, just give the park office a call and they can hook you up with the information you need. Let's talk Erie's Bayfront, shall we? Because Soon, you'll be able to enjoy a new food truck down there. This is on that second level of Dobbins Landing, and it is gnarly knocks. How about that? <laughs> the hook here, you notice the pretzel? Everything's going to be served yep. on a pretzel bun, a variety of sandwiches, all pretzel bun related. I love it. You were there today. You saw yeah. it for your own self, and it is really a tourist destination going to the Bicentennial Tower. Now, as far as we understand, that uh, snack bar on the first level will still be open, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, so, to the best of my knowledge, anyway, this is just something a little different. Um, yeah, uh, Tim Sedney, who has a, a lot of the businesses down by the Bayfront, dreamt up this idea and said, let's do it. So they got a local tree service to use its crane <laughs> and put this uh, food truck up on the second level, and it should be fantastic. Electrical crews were out there today, so they've got it all plumbed in there. The electric is ready to go. They think week to 10 days it'll be open. That's great. Just something a little different. Erie Why likes different. Not? I think that's going to do well. I think it will, too, especially the boom of visitors coming to view the city from the Bicentennial Tower. It is probably the best view around. When we come back on Erie Digital News Now, it's John Stalen's full.